Hello and welcome to another video from Newsmatic Fanatic. Today is April 28th. This is hunt number two. We're starting off with some quarter rolls. Unfortunately, we got a little short this week. So we had to get some rolls of quarters. Not always the best, but we'll make do. Already put one aside, not sure what it is yet. It's a state quarter. Maybe maybe we'll keep it. Maybe we won't. I usually we'll, say uh, sort of cut this up a bit because it's boring. Mag magnanimous or whatever. It's just very long. You know, it's very... Quarters are very boring. But uh, we'll tune back in when we find something, maybe. Uh, back here, um, found a few coins so far. I did one roll. Justin's, like, did three. He's way faster than me. Uh, there's a 1969. It's in actually fairly decent shape because the rim is still intact. Most of these coins um, in the 1960s that are clad, usually people pulled out the silver and didn't really care about the the clad so that the coins are you know a lot harder to find even in good condition. That's why you find so many of them. Because yeah, most of the rim is actually still there. It's, usually it's mostly smoothed intact, off. Yeah. Um, then a few nice uh, quarters. We'll show at the end. We'll decide later if yeah, those are you know, nice. Off the side, but. Usually some of those get kind of uh, get sorted out. Yeah. Be back. Oh. Um, another nice state quarter. 2003 main. Good shape for the three. And I also got this one now. I just found J that one. Jay just found 87. 87 Philadelphia. Yeah. Definitely um, good condition there. Uh, we'll be back. Uh, we're back here with part two. Um, Jay's doing dimes. Ooh, I'll be doing nickels. We got what? our first silver here. Imagine. First roll? Yeah. It was just ran. I swear, it was randomly. I just randomly picked the roll. Oh, yeah. 1949 Philadelphia. Hmm. Ninety percent silver. Well, we'll just do a little. Basically, what we do with the quarters here, just a quick wrap through, just finding stuff along the way. I mean. No yeah. silver. Most mostly we'll get a couple silver, most likely. Of the dimes, and, yeah. And we'll be back. Peace. We're back. Um found a few coins. Uh two Canadians actually. A nineteen eighty eight and a two thousand from Canada. Pretty common. But not common in the United States. I mean you it's hard to come by. Uh nothing really special. Just maybe Maybe nice keepers. keepers. I don't know. Uh, I found a couple of ones so far. 41 and a 57. That's about it. I'm a few rolls in. He's probably like 10 in. So, here's our wrap up. Hunt 2. Um, unfortunately, it's much smaller this time. Didn't really take out anything nice too far. Too, too nice yet. It's kind of just a, a general wrap up. But, um, we'll start up with the Washington Quarters. Oh, can you read that? Just we had a 1969 that was fairly decent, I mean, considering the fact that it's pretty hard to find. Nice Washington Quarters, so that's why we pull it. Pull anything out that is in, you know, fairly decent condition. Um, the 87 also was in fairly decent condition. The fact that you can still see his hair is really good. Yeah. Usually it's pretty worn off. And also following by the 89D from Denver, um, which is fairly nice. So they're very, fairly nice coins, I guess. For Washington quarters, yeah. In the year 2019, I mean, yeah. they're pretty. They're actually pretty old, I mean, considering the fact they were in 2019. Then we have um, our state quarters. State quarters, yeah. That we pull out. I'll start with the Illinois. 2003. It's from Philadelphia. Very nice room, very clean face. Nebraska. Nebraska. From Six. Philadelphia. We have Arkansas. From Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. And Maine. A three. From Philadelphia. And South Dakota. From Philadelphia. I think this is one. Uh, this is Maine, Denver. Not too many Denvers out here. Um, South Dakota from Philadelphia. 
and then Colorado from Philadelphia, and then Maryland from Philadelphia. <laughs> so we had one Denver. Yeah. And then we had three America's Beautiful Quarters, Grand Canyon, that my brother pulled out. You very rarely find these things. Let me tell you. 2010. They're, I don't know what happens, but I feel like people hoard them. They're in, always in terrible shape. And they're always in terrible shape. This one was from Denver. This is, It has like one nick. And that's, head, that is pretty dang good. That might actually go into our book. And that was from Denver. And then this one is a 20, 2018, I think. Um, I'm going to flip. 2018 from Denver as well. Mm. And then this one is a Ozark Riverways from... Philadelphia. And, and that's then, our quarters. And our nickels slam, um, consist of another 39. Almost always end up with a 39 or 38. Two 40s. Uh, 40, two 41s. And one a 41S. And there's a 41S, which is actually a pretty cool find. Uh, this is the 41S. This is the 41S. No, there's three, actually. There's three 41s. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Um, this is the 41S. You can zoom in on that if you want. Yeah. And that's the difference uh, between each mint mark. Yeah. I mean, nothing beautiful. It's just an older coin, so we hang on to them. Um, there's a, the 56 I showed earlier. Just mm. It's okay. And a decent 1964 Denver. It was a 64, though, actually. It was no, it's a 64 for Philadelphia. Really clean for Philadelphia, being that old. 57. Um, another. No, 59, my bad. And then. It's a 57D. Really bad D. back. Yeah. But this, this 05. Or there it is. Oh, it's also 59D. The 05D um, Buffalo is actually really good shape. These things are always hammered. When I found this one, I was actually kind of shocked. So it looked good. Because the high, the, the, the face the is... The problem is over here on the right of the coin, you can see there's so much room there for anything that's naked. Of course, you can see a couple of nicks now that I'm zooming in. But there's nothing you can do about that. Uh, and there's also a lot of face, you know. Yeah, it's a very smooth front of a coin, so it's hard to yeah. keep it all... But then also two Canadian nickels, 82 and 98. 98 looks a little better. Yeah. Obviously. And there was two um, 2009s. 09s. Yeah, they're bad, but yeah, 09s hard to find. So you kind of you got to choose whether you want to hold on to it or not because it, they have one of the lowest mintages of a modern coin since, since um, probably like what? The... Um, 80 something? Was there like a little vintage of the. I don't know. No, it was below. Or like the vintage didn't get this low since. 2009. The vintage of the 2009 P was 39.84 million. Where is it? And there was. In Denver, there was 46.8 million. Now. Comparing that to the rest of those numbers is very low. Now, at the time, this book was in 2013, so, I mean, the price has obviously gone up. But it's very relative. Still. Um, the coins have not been minted that low since... In, in, excluding proof coins since... I would say... Since 1950. Oh, yeah, that's the year. The 1950D is the key date also of the Jefferson Nichols, if you did, if you guys did not know that. That is the hardest coin to find, I believe, in the Jefferson Nichols, I'm pretty sure. Um, What's the 2 million? 630? Yeah. Yeah, it is the hardest. Yeah, that is the hardest. That is the all-time key date in the Jefferson Nichols. The Jefferson Nichols are fairly easy to collect, but in, in really good condition, you, you, you're going to pay a little bit more money. Not a lot, but it might cost you a few bucks to get good coins. With that, I'm going to hand it over to Jay. Alright, so went through the dimes, 
and got a 2000 Canadian a 1988 Canadian, a 1979 Canadian, and a surprisingly a Canadian silver dime. Very rare to find one of these in circulation. And a 1949. All my, uh, the American is 90% silver. I have no idea what the percentages are for the Canadian. Of course, we can get a Canadian silver, but we can't even get a Jefferson no. or time nickel. So. Um, and then there was uh, some nice coins from just, I pulled out. The diamond rolls. Diamond rolls. I mean, I'll probably take some of these out later. I don't know. I have to decide on these. Better the batch, though. Yeah. Uh, and there was two wee pennies with with still more, uh, with, with luster on them, and... A 1956 D and a 1953, and then there was a 1941, a 1942, a 1944, a 1948, and a 1955 um, Denver. Yeah. And then I did find some more lustrous coins that were more modern. They were mostly copper pennies because the uh, they were they were you know seventies and eighties. There was no nicer sixties. I mean, they're pretty hard to come by. To find a really nice sixties um, is pretty hard. And then this one I think is a BB gun, or it could be somebody messing with the coin. We'll just throw that into copper pennies. But I just figured I'd show you that because that's kind of funny. Look crazy on the moon almost. Yeah, and then there was four zinc pennies that I kind of pulled out. That's a nicer uh, 1983. It's got like this die problems. It's got like uh, hold typical on. zinc penny. See all the little dots on it? That's like die problems. And then this one is a 1988. It's decent. Um, it's got actually it's got nice toning on it. And then this is really bad like with all the spots oh. bad air bad air I tell you it's not worth that much but it is something like to look for just to keep the, a collection of it's like I, I don't know what you call it it's like it's something to do with the dye I don't remember if I'm wrong just comment below what it is I forget what it is um, and then it was 1984 also with lots of spots in them um, with the dye and um, that's about it. Um, thanks for tuning in to Newismatic Fanatic. Subscribe and comment down below, like, and I'm C. C. I'm um, J. Oh, you're C? Yeah. Um, no, no, I'm J now. Oh. No, I'm C. I'm J. See you later.